I'd like to talk to you today about one sector full of opportunity for talented women information and communications technology. My dream is for a connected continent where every European is digital with access to the skills, services and fast broadband to achieve the opportunities of tomorrow. Today, ICT holds the key to our future. Innovations from cloud computing to connected cars, applications from tourism to television. Together, they promise to change our world. Preparing those digital skills is preparing for the future. So training in the STEM disciplines, science, technology, engineering and math matters for everyone. And Europe faces a huge demand for people with those talents. Yet women are missing out. Fewer than one in five ICT sector entrepreneurs are women. Only 3% of women with a degree have it in ICT, compared to nearly 10% of men. And that's before you see the leaky pipeline. Only one in seven women with an ICT degree then go on to work in the ICT sector. And many leave the sector mid-career. So women end up particularly underrepresented among managers and decision makers. Fix these problems and there would be a huge benefit for women, for their employers and for the economy. Women in the ICT sector earn 9% more than in other sectors. Organizations that are more gender inclusive get a 34% higher return on investment. And if women held digital jobs as frequently as men, the annual gain for the European economy would be around 9 billion euros. At a time when millions need jobs, this is one sector where demand for workers outstrips supply. It's time to realize that this is a great career option for everyone. ICT is not about geeks programming in lonely bedrooms. It's time to shatter that illusion. It's unattractive, unhelpful and it's untrue. Yes, ICT is about coding, but also about connecting and creativity. It is about innovation, sharing and learning. It is about design, user friendliness and meeting real life needs. Women are huge users of ICT. They should be out there making it too, creating the digital gadgets, tools and sites that women will value and use, and not just by coloring them pink. Then we have a virtuous circle. More women designing the tools that other women want to use, and vice versa. There are so many role models out there who can inspire our female tech talent, starting from the world's first computer programmer, Ada Lovelace, and moving on to Facebook, Sheryl Sandberg, or the UK's digital champion, Marta Lane Fox. Get this right, and there is a boost for women, a boost for the technology sector, and a boost for our whole economy.